Hello, it's motor test of the week. Uh, this week I'm going to be testing out uh, NGM prop drive 3536 1800kV. Uh, it's out of stock at the moment, but not surprising really considering the price they're doing it. Um, but I thought I'd do a test. I've got a couple of these. Uh, I've got one on my Hyper Shark, and I thought I'd do a test. Let's have a look at the specs list. Right, yep, it's 1800 kV, it only weighs 120 grams, which is good uh, for 3 or 4 S Lie Poly. Uh, but other people have run it on 5 and 6 cell lipos. Um, it says 875 watts at 15 volts 4 S, uh, but it also says max current 65 amps. And what a lot of people get wrong is they think, oh, on 3S I can only run it to 700 watts, and then 4S is 875 watts. It doesn't matter if you're running it on 2 cell, 3 cell, or 4 cell, the max amps that you can run is still 65 amps. So that's something that some people get wrong. Um, but I'm also going to be running this on 5 and 6S just to see what it does. Right, let's get to the fresh stand. Right, here we are, and I'm gonna first test it on the setup that I'm currently running on my Hypershark with this motor. Uh, I'm running a Rhino 2250, uh, what are they, 40 to 50C four cell, and the ESC I've got on there is Aerostar 70 amp, although in the Hype Shark I've got a 60 amp uh, Aerostar. Uh, propeller is a Bone uh, 7x6. Uh, Inactivity alarm. Yeah, Oops, sorry, it's my transmitter. Uh, yeah, it's one of the 7x6 Bone uh, propellers, electric alarm. propellers uh, on Hobby King. Yeah, Aerostar and yeah, I've got it all plugged in the wattmeter. So let's see how this performs with the 7x6. Right, 64 amps, so it's in within range, but it's saying 800, was that 888 watts? So that's a bit more watts than what it says. Alright, let's give it another burst. Me. So what do you think? Uh, oh, it's over here. Hmm. Yes, nearly forty degrees. Right, that was the 7x6. Let's try something else. Okay, for a comparison, um, the other propeller was a 7x6 electric prop, uh, but I put a 7x6 gas prop on. It's an APC gas prop. 
still on the same battery I've topped it up a little bit and let's see what difference this makes Thrust there. <laughs> Finally, quite a difference there. Only 57.4 amps and 840 watts. And the gas prop seem to be more efficient. all the same right that was quite good that was a good comparison right let's try another propeller okay this setup could be a very good fast four cell setup uh, what I've put on there is a APC gas prop but this is a 7x8 uh, I've seen someone on YouTube using um, this prop on their plane and for a four cell it was pretty quick um, yeah top the battery up so let's see what thrust we get and then check what the numbers are Ooh, didn't, didn't seem to like that one yeah. 68 amps. Hmm. Nowhere near the amount of thrust as the 7 by 6 Yeah, it's struggling to turn that, I think. Maybe a slightly bigger four cell it would be a bit better. Mm, a bit warm, not getting warm at all. But yeah, thrust is definitely down. Probably pick up a bit in the air, but anyway, let's see what else, see what we can do to get a bit more thrust. Okay, I've now fitted it with an 8x4 um, Aerostar prop, although it's basically an APC prop. And still on the 4 cell, topped it up again. Uh, let's see what we get on an 8x4. Good amount of thrust. Yeah, a bit over sixty eight amps, nine hundred and eighty seven watts. Put it at 41 degrees, so it might be a little over. So uh, let's do the same thing and compare a 8x4 gas prop. Okay, switch to a JXF 8x4 gas prop. Uh, everything's still the same. Didn't bother topping up the battery because I only done one run on the last one. So let's see what difference this makes. Less thrust that time. Uh, oh, definitely drew less current there. 
62 amps, 884 watts. It's <laughs> not bad. Right, I'm going to move over to the 5 cell testing now. Okay, this is the setup I'm hoping to try next in my Hypershark. Um, I'm running a 6x6 Gemfan high speed prop and the battery I'm using is a Zippy 2000 milliamp and it's 45C. That's 5 cell. Alright, so let's see what this does. Fast. That's pretty good. Fifty seven amps over a thousand watts. Didn't even go over 40 degrees. Let's try it again. Still pretty good thrust there. Yeah, about the same. Right. So we try next. Right, I'm still on five cell, but I've changed over to a TGS six by four prop. Thought I'd just see what the thrust difference is. There. Sounded like it was warping a bit there. Blimey. <laughs> a lot less current there. It's not bad. Alright, next test. Okay, this is going to be the final test. Uh, I've switched over to a 5.5 by 5.5 uh, gem fan high speed prop and I've switched batteries to a Zippy Compact 1800 milliamp 40C 6L. Uh, all these, bat these three batteries I'm testing, they're about the closest in weight that I can get away with for a 4 or 5 and a 6L. So it's keep the plane in balance. Right, this is hopefully what I'm going to run in the Hyper Shark on 6L. Let's see what we get here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was pretty damn good thrust there. Don't wish drop was all oh, blimey. <laughs> that might be too much for it. <laughs> 1600 watts <laughs> hmm let's give this one more quick blast Stay the same. Not too bad. Hmm. Let's 
Let's put it up to 51 degrees. Yeah, it may be alright being up f quite up front on the plane on the del on the uh, hyper sharp. So yeah, could maybe use that prop. Right. Okay, as that last test was a I think that was a bit much for it maybe. Uh could use it, but I thought I'd do a another test to see what happens here. Um I've now fitted it with a TGS 5x5 five five prop. Uh I've charged up the battery and uh let's see what difference this makes. Hopefully it gives similar performance but less current draw. <laughs> Hundred grams less thrust there. Huh. Oh, yeah. Way, way less current draw. Yeah, definitely 100 grams less thrust. That's not too bad. It's less than 50 amps. 1132 watts, so... The RPMs would be a bit higher on that. And it's not even getting warm with that prop. So that could be an option. I could maybe get a put a six by five on it, but cut the six five by five down a little bit. And uh, yeah, it could get a bit more thrust out of it. Anyway, I'll come back to that one. Right, that was the motor test for the NTM thirty five thirty six eighteen hundred kV prop drive, Ooh, a bit blurry, can't see it, but yeah that was pretty good the performance there and it seems to be alright running 6L. Alright, anyway if you like this video click like and subscribe and you'll see loads more motor tests like this, I'm trying to put one out every week. See you then, bye bye.